what's up everyone welcome to Effort Tech. in today's edition we're going to be reviewing the experience rom on the oneplus 3t so let's get started the experience rom is like based on the android 7.1.1 and it's on the latest oxygen os 4.1.1 it's stable and has its own updater app inside of it so we're going to start from the beginning and install the latest version they released and we're going to do our generic wipe cache system data and cache again and then do the wipe so in order for the, the installation you need twrp recovery bootloader unlocked check out the prior video for it so once the wipe is done we're going to go ahead and install the experience rom it's a pretty good rom they have little tweaks and added features it's a Ar aroma installation so it's going to have like on-screen installation i'll show you how that works and they also added um uh, all the latest fixes from Oxygen OS 4.1.1, so it's up to date. And as you can see, the process finished. Let's click install. Good experience. So I'm going to post the links. You can download directly on the for or transfer. So click on the experience, and we're going to install it. So it's going to be a Aroma Installator installation. It's going to come up right now. And as you can see, it is on the Oxygen OS 4.1.1 firmware. Let the installation set up itself and we'll show you the process on how it's done. And it's going. So as you can see it's saying first reboot may take a few minutes so be patient and it's exiting out the installation finishing up so just keep patient and the reboot will take place and there you go uh, installation finished and we're going to reboot the system uh, that's generic so leave those options checked don't touch it. Uh, the boot is going to do the process. It's an automatic thing, so let it go. And as you read, when the installation finished, the phone's going to take a little bit time to boot. So don't touch it. Let it do the process and be patient. As you can see, the logo came up on OnePlus 3T. And it rebooted it again. And then it's going to reboot again one more time, possibly. There you go. So the Oxygen OS is on and it's loading. So as you can see, the setup has loaded and it took me about five minutes for the installation to finish. So for your phone, let it do the same thing. Let it load itself and the welcome screen will come. So let's go ahead and click let's go. Setup is new. If you want to copy your data, you could, but I'm going to set up as new. Wi-Fi, I'm going to skip it. Are you sell your continue and then it's gonna load so let the process go for the aroma insulator um, installation you would have to download the aroma add-on package which I will post in the description so you'll get the better installation setup everything from the TWRP so I'll post a direct link which I did I installed the file directly as the operating system oh, and I'll also put the add-on package for the aroma installator so you could do both whichever you like and let the Gmail go if you add another account, you can. Yes. So I added my Gmail and it's gonna continue the setup to load the phone. And I'm gonna skip the fingerprint. I'll set that up later. Uh, whatever this is for the location, so I'm just gonna turn it off. Click next. Checking, continue. Google now. Uh, no thanks for the Google app permission. All set and it should finish up and load the operating system. So there you go. Experience ROM has loaded. And as you could see, it's very similar to the Oxygen OS. Nothing much difference. They have everything similar, just a little bit add-on features and a little bit tweaks to the kernel and the audio software they put on here. 
So I'll show you the bat phone. See, as you can see, Oxygen OS 4.1.1. Android 7.1.1 and it is run by the experience ROM build number 17.0 and Let's show you a little bit of features they have so generic uh, setting menu status bar and Then if I want the battery percentage you could change it here. I'll go to display So right here show battery percentage So same as oxygen OS not much difference and I did here on the forums. It's a lot stabler and it has a better battery life because the kernel tweaks they do compared to the oxygen os so it is perfect and it is on the latest firmware and also it has a built-in system update so as you can see it's on experience rom 17.0 you could update to the latest one which is 18 point light it's a light version of this so they also have an update for it but it will come automatically here once you get it so you could just click check for updates over here and it will load up the updates. This is the official full version. There's a light version also. I'll link it to you. You can download that if you want, but this is the full official version. And other than that, the ROM is stable and looks just like stock. Not much difference. Everything is stable, running. They did improve the connectivity issues, just like the Oxygen OS. No Wi-Fi issue dropping, Bluetooth or anything. And they also fixed their updater app in the experience. And then the camera. So let's take a look at the camera really quick loading it up and there you go so yeah it's same as the oxygen os not a difference and i'm gonna see if it focuses yeah it's focusing as you can see flashlight on everything is working so that's up to date and other than that they did keep up with oxygen os and made everything work perfect if you want uh any if you have any questions or concerns you could post in the comments below and we'll help you out other than that i hope you enjoyed this video and it's easy for you to install thank you for watching bye bye